Good afternoon, royal family. I promised I'd be back and I am back. And yes, you guys, today I'm not going to make the sugar cookie tarts. I will probably do that on Saturday. But today I'm going to show you something for your Christmas table. Yes, I know everybody do sweet potatoes. They mash them, they put marshmallows on them, they bake them, they candy them. But we are going to fry some sweet potatoes. No, we're not making sweet potato fries. We're literally going to fry cubed up sweet potatoes, which is going to be so awesome. So let's get started. But for me, this is going to be a minimal ingredients. So if you're having people over for Christmas, of course you're gonna use more potatoes. But here we have, I have, these are two sweet potatoes. Of course, we're going to peel them, wash them and dice them up. And you're going to need parchment paper because for me, when you boil sweet potatoes, you take the flavor out of them. I just don't like it when you boil sweet potatoes, even for a sweet potato pie. Either you should put it in the microwave or put it in the oven. So we're going to need parchment paper. Of course, we're going to need canola oil to fry them. Yes, we're literally going to fry these babies. And you guys, this is the kicker. Here I have some, can you see it? Apple extract. You remember, you guys, you have to check out Olive Nation. Any extract you can think of, they have it. And what I did, let me show you. This here is a cinnamon apple sugar. And you guys, when I tell you it smells delicious, what I did, I did a teaspoon of apple extract, I did a teaspoon of cinnamon, and just regular sugar. And I just mixed it up. And what we're going to do, when the potatoes come out of the fryer, we're going to drain them, and then we're going to sprinkle this sugar over them. Oh yeah, off the chain. All right, you guys, let me cut up the sweet potatoes. I'll come back and show you the size they should be. Then we'll get this party started. All right, hang tight. All right, you guys, I'm going to attempt to show you how you should uh, do your sweet potatoes. Always remember, keep your hand above the blade. One time I was doing some sweet potatoes and I had totally forgot that my hand was underneath the blade and it was nothing but the grace of God that I did not cut my fingers. I'm talking about, I literally could have cut one off. But anyway, I peeled the potato and I cut it in half. So we're gonna take this, as I said, always keep your hand of the blade until you hear it. Now we're going to take this one and do it again. And then we're just gonna do it like this. You see, this is the size you want. Hope you can see that. Okay, so let's do this one, which is a little smaller. Keep your hand always on top of the blade because sweet potatoes are pretty thick. So let's go with this one again. And do a rocking motion. All right, let's go here. really be nice if I had you know one of my great great knives all right okay so this is the size that we are wanting then hope you guys can see that all right but the tip always keep your hand on top of the blade especially when you're cutting sweet potatoes squash you know anything that's really hard to get the knife through all right let me wash them up and we'll get ready to put them in the oven. Preheat your oven to 350. And remember, you guys, we're not going to cook them all the way. 
We're just going to cook them for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then we'll fry them up. All right, I'll be back. All right, you guys, here are the potatoes that I cut up. And just to be honest, you really are supposed to square your potatoes off where you can get even cooking. But as you can see, I did not do that. Not very well, anyway. So once you wash your potatoes, I want you to take a paper towel and I want you to dry them. Get all of the water out. And next what we're going to do is put them on parchment paper and spread them out. Again, your oven on 350 and we're only going to do them for 15 minutes because we're going to come back and fry these babies. All right, I'll see you in about 15 minutes. All right, you guys, it took 24 minutes for the potatoes to be semi-done. We don't want them all the way done because we're going to fry them. And I should have told you, uh, do a medium, uh, I'm gonna say a medium small dice for your potatoes. So we're gonna let it cool on the counter for about 15 minutes, then we'll come back and fry these babies up. But you see, once you uh, uh, dab them with the paper towel to get all the water off, they come out really nice looking, but you just wait till you see once we fry them. All right, we're almost done. All right, you guys, here we go. This is about a cup of canola oil, and I am just going to drop them in. And you just want them um, light golden brown. Oh, I hope I had my grease hot enough. Can you guys see that? All right, let's, don't overcrowd your pan, but let's just put some more in here. And I will definitely let you know how long it took to fry them. Can you see that? I know the light is yeah, again. Okay, let's just add a few more. And when I come back, We'll have some fried sweet potatoes with some apple cinnamon sugar. All right, be right back. All right, Royal Family, here is the finished product of the fried sweet potatoes with the apple cinnamon sugar. I fried them for about 12 minutes, drained them on a paper towel, and then I added the apple cinnamon sugar. You guys, these are amazing. I mean, they're tender, they're sweet, and I love it because I put them in the oven. That way, it did not take away the flavor. I want you guys just to see how tender that is. You see that? That is a fried sweet potato. Mmm. And with that apple cinnamon sugar, it is definitely on point. Check that out. And you see the sugar right there. See that? That's the apple cinnamon sugar. All right, you guys. That is it for tonight. But I will come back on. And we're going to do the sugar cookie berry tarts. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share and subscribe. And thank you to all of my new subscribers and my old ones. God bless you. And I will see you on Saturday for the tart. You guys, get you some fried chicken with this, some meatloaf, and have yourself a blessed day and night. Good night, you guys.